What is up to come members it's your boy Johnny and today we're going to be breaking down the Apex Legends Season 10 Meat Seer trailer. Yeah, that was a lot to say in one go. Yes, I do apologize, but I am late to the party on this. The reason being is because I've been busy making other pieces of content for you guys and I completely forgot that this has actually been released. So we're going to be watching it all together first in case you haven't seen it already. And then we're going to be going through it and breaking down the trailer just to see if there is any big spoilers released that we can expect in season 10. And guys, just before the video starts, if you guys are brand new around here and you enjoy Apex Legend content like this, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that post notification bell. That way you never miss out on another video like this and with that being said guys let's get right into it a bad omen cast a dark shadow over obi's birth but through love he emerged as the champion of the outcasts he is seer stand out or stand aside an artist and visionary he sees what others do not we will give him a show like no other. With his ability to sense the heartbeats of those around him, Seer stalks his enemies like a graceful predator. Your heart must beat with passion. To the very end. He can summon micro-drones from his heart chamber to emit a delayed blast, interrupting and revealing enemies. I do my best work with a captive audience. Now is the time for fascination. And no one can hide from Seer's ultimate display. When deployed, his heart chamber casts a micro-drone net over an area. Do not hide your true colors. They are your strength. Revealing the location of enemies moving heavily within it. Take comfort. You could not have prepared for me. Like moths to a flame, Seer's grand performance may lead to your demise. But take comfort that your passing will be breathtaking. Your heart cried out for this. Do not blink, legend. You do not want to miss this. All right, now my people, so as you can see, the Seer character trailer is absolutely insane. But now let's go ahead and let's look at the breakdown of it. So first of all, his passive is going to be Heart Seeker, which is basically a heartbeat sensor when aiming down the sights. You can get up to 75 meters of distance on this, which is actually pretty decent, to be honest. It's going to be very, very good for identifying legends or enemies, which are known to fortify within a building, such as a Caustic or a Watson, especially in the final zone as well. The triangles, I think, identify the locations of the heartbeat and the size kind of justifies how close the heartbeat is. So I think, for example, if a small fin triangle is on the heartbeat sensor, they, they are at a distance. But the big triangles mean they're actually up close and around the corner. Now, I'm not sure if you are up close in the gunflight and actually aiming down sights that they get in the way or interrupt you while aiming. But we will have to identify that and find out when the game actually does get released. But it does assure that you'll be able to pre-fire almost every single time when enemies are around the corner. The next big thing to take away from this is the tactical and that is the focus of attention. So this summons mini drones to blast through walls and identify the location of enemies. This is like Bloodtown Tactical but on steroids and has been beefed up to the max. Not only does it reveal enemies, it also interrupts the heals of enemies as well, making it more of an aggressive tactical compared to Bloodhound. And this is somewhat a mix of the Crypto EMP, but also fused with his tactical stun as well, which basically just disrupts the enemy and obviously stops them from doing particular things such as healing or, you know, retreating away. So, for example, you could actually use this if you're in a communicated team. So, obviously, you're doing callouts. You can say, oh, I'm using my focus of attention. You can ignite it. And then, obviously, your other teammates can obviously push and get the final downs or get the downs and kill them things like that also as well in the trailer you can see that there is a bar above the enemy which shows the shield bar and the health bar which might not be something that everybody will be able to see on your team it might just be seer but either way the focus of attention looks to be a very very intense tactical to use especially in ranked or in pubs with a full squad that are also doing call outs the other thing to identify is the ultimate which is called exhibit so exhibit creates a sphere of drones that reveals the location of enemies when they're firing or moving fastly within 
Now, this is something I think is going to be very good to combine with a Gibby ability with the bubble. I'm not too sure if this will clash on one or the other and it can't be on top of one another, but we will have to see on Tuesday, obviously, when the season does come out. If we can do that, I will do like a little myth busting short or something like that for YouTube. But another thing to identify as well is you have to move fastly within, which is a bit of a complicated one, I think, because at the end of the trailer, which you will see, or you did actually see, Octane is moving very, very slowly, but it did appear. So maybe crouching and moving slowly might not appear within the sphere. So enemies could creep out of the sphere in order to escape or rotate. So it is definitely something to keep in mind as well. And yeah, guys, just like that, that is going to be the end of this Seer character trailer breakdown. So, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you excited to use Seer? Do you think Seer is going to be a very, very good legend to actually use? I personally think he is going to be a better Bloodhound player, I think. So, obviously, if you guys are Bloodhound mains, I definitely recommend you guys try out Seer. See how they feel. Obviously, it's not going to be the same as Bloodhound. It might be better. It might be worse. Who knows? But definitely 100% give it a go. And, obviously, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you're most excited about for apex legend season 10 while you're down there feel free to subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications and guys my name's been johnny and if no one's already told you have an amazing day take care and peace